Pavan Sinha. Hindu activist is also with us on the broadcast. Let me uh, uh, begin with you first, uh, Pavan Sinha. What do you make of this charge that anti-Hindu forces were trying to uh, sully and persecute Nityananda? Actually, here also, uh, if we study his history, his past, so he wanted to establish himself as a god. So uh, anybody uh, who was criticizing him, even at that time, he used to play the victim card that I am being penalized for my uh, being a shayab, uh, Vaishnava penalizing me. He used to utter such words even that time also. Now when the government is chasing him, when uh, uh, he's about to be punished, he fled from here. Now he has established uh, uh, his so-called uh, uh, kingdom, whether it is in reality or not, nobody knows. But so-called uh, uh, United States of uh, um, this, um, uh, he has, uh, USK, he has made it. Now, uh, when government uh, is after him, and any time on such issues, red corner notice can also be issued. He is again playing the victim card and saying that anti-Hindu forces, and he is definitely enumerating all such forces who are here at the center and in different states, that these people are after me and they do not want me to establish a separate state of mind because I am the actual Hindu. So he wanted to hold the power of uh, Hindus, Hindus, he wanted to hold the seat of Hindus, he used to manifest himself, uh, Shankaracharya over other Shankaracharyas even at that time, now he is playing the same victim card. And uh, this is really surprising, which you said on the onset of this discussion, that why United Nations has taken him seriously. So when this is a good point here that uh, I felt good about, that uh, Hindu forces or Indian forces rather, I should say, that uh, uh, they registered their opposition and the United Nations had to say that they are not included the words of USK in the official document or recorded history of United Nations General Assembly. So this is a great victory on the other hand also. Uh, but America is supporting. Why America is supporting? It is to be seen further. Um, and uh, but I think next time he will not dare saying like this. But a uh, Hindu dharma guru who was here as a self-styled godman is saying like this. This shows um, that uh, there is something fishy in the water. Yes, at all, because, you know, the fact is, obviously, there, have, there has been a lot of aftermath of this. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the whole point is, if, if perhaps action had been taken earlier, the aftermath would not have been needed. Isn't it, uh, Pavan Sinaji? And, and, you know, at the end of the day, the Hindu faith also gets sullied because of such individuals abroad. Yes, definitely, because, uh, uh, first of all, what he has done here uh, was uh, not at all... Um, uh, means that this the one cannot suppose that uh, one cannot even dream that a dharma guru will, uh, will do uh, the things like this. Uh, he was also making his disciples drug addict. You know, there was uh, ample evidences for this that he used to put something in the tea and used to serve it to the people. So uh, and then the rape case etc. So uh, when these kind of people are purchasing an island. It should be uh, taken into consideration that from where he has earned this much of money that he was purchasing an island from uh, Antigua. The second thing is that what is he doing there? Uh, uh, the, the important the important thing is this: what kind of knowledge is he giving to his people, his disciples, and the and the, and Hindus? Then he have uh, he has been speaking against all those people who belong to different sect of prayers. So uh, this is to be seen. Then he approaches uh, High Commission uh, for Human Rights. This is again uh, a thing that should be taken into consideration. Because why has he gone there? 
why uh, has he sent his representative there and what she was saying uh, and uh, what was the actual need does he want that he should be uh, cuted from all the charges for what he has done uh, some wrongs in india and uh, okay if, if, even if he's saying and he was uh, demanding a kind of shelter for, uh, in U, un general assembly anybody can go there and represent it, uh, represent his view views because uh, united nation not only addresses the grievances of the states but also that addresses the grievances of the people in general where statelessness has created so uh, united nation uh, gave them uh, a chance to speak but what were they saying so that that should be taken uh, into consideration and i think uh, we must now be more active and we should approach uh, similar bodies uh, to bring him back to india and uh, we should uh, levy all the charges on him not thinking that is heading a country he is in fact not heading a country so me ji wonderfully has uh, with so many rhetorics wonderfully has presented that he is not uh, uh, he is created a wonderland but not a state so he should be brought back to india and red corner notice should be issued to him and so that all those people who are speaking against india who are speaking against a particular religion without any evidences who are manifesting their own grievances they should be stopped they should be stopped and they should be they should uh, means uh, some some daunted forces daunting forces Uh, should be there to stop them from speaking like this against a well established sovereign nation